All right, guys, so I was recently approached by a company called the Workshop Hero. They make a product called Metal Rescue Rust Remover Bath. Now, I will say that in the past, I have used white vinegar for this job and I have had reasonably good results with it. Now, one thing I was happy to find out is this stuff is made right here in, right here in the USA. And based on what I've read online, people have already had really good luck with some of this stuff. Um, definitely, if it works better than the white vinegar, I'll probably move on to using this stuff instead. But this company graciously sent me this free sample. And uh, I have kind of been looking for something for a little bit better than white vinegar, or hopefully better than white vinegar. So kind of came at a good time. So my plans are to try this stuff out. And this is the concentrate variety. They do have stuff that's already mixed. And with this little bottle, basically you just dump this whole 14 ounce container into a gallon of normal water. You don't have to add anything else to it. You don't have to dilute it any more than that. According to the instructions, this is what they want you to do. Now this stuff is a dry coat. We're not going to really talk about this much in this video, but they did send me a bottle of this as well. And this stuff will be a little bit more difficult to kind of try out or test. Being that I live in California, there really isn't too much of an issue with rust to begin with. So as usual, uh, definitely consult the MSDS on any new chemical that you've never used before. Um, it would only behoove you to do so. Uh, this stuff is definitely safe. It's just as safe as white vinegar. It's not going to make a mess. It's not bad for the environment. Now, according to their little info sheet here, this stuff is paint safe, provided you don't have paint that's already flaking off due to rust underneath it, in which case the paint is going to be messed up anyways, and you're probably going to have to, you're probably going to end up repainting it to begin with. But if it's that type of situation, it will take that kind of paint off. But all the other type of paint that's not affected by rust or any sort of corrosion, you should be safe to use it on, and it should not strip paint off. Now, one thing I did find interesting is this stuff does remove rust. That's what it's primarily marketed as. It will also remove zinc phosphate, bluing, browning, and other oxide finishes in about 20 to 40 minutes immersion time. The stuff also will not harm rubber, plastic, clothing, glass, and other surfaces that are unharmed by water alone, which is very nice. Some of these degreasers or rust removers are, uh, let's just say, very chemical dependent, and they will more or less destroy a lot of the other stuff that the metal may or may not be attached to. Um, up to and including your clothing, if you get it on your clothing, it'll destroy your clothing. Uh, this stuff is not an acid. It just dissolves the rust. Once it's mixed up, you'll have a shelf life of about a year. You can, after you're done using it, run it through a strainer and prolong the uh, shelf life. Because as you use this, it's designed to take about a half pound of... Uh, rust off of metal. So that equates to, from what they say, the same amount of rust that 300 pounds of steel would have with the medium amount of rust on it. So it's, it is quite a bit, and this stuff is pretty cheap to begin with. So, you know, your mileage may vary. You, you might not care too much about that, or you might want to save a few bucks. The option's there if you want to do that. Now one thing that you do want to keep in mind with this is you don't want to leave it in over 24 hours because it will start to develop a uh, black or darker bit of film on the top of the metal which they classify as iron oxide 2. This is a corrosion inhibiting film that is a more stable state of oxidized iron. It is not detrimental to the metal surface and is only cosmetic in nature. So it's not going to damage the metal, it's just going to make it look ugly. If that matters, it may not. So definitely if you want to soak this stuff you want to get it out within 24 hours if cosmetics are important to you. So how you mix this stuff up is you just add it to a clean plastic container which I did clean out this plastic container beforehand. Add one gallon of clean water mixed thoroughly. Label metal rescue product with mixing date. Upon mixing the shelf life of metal rescue's active ingredients is one year. So like I said earlier you have about a year to uh, use this stuff. So we'll go ahead and throw it in.
is I'm not going to record a whole 24 hours of me going through and you guys basically watching these tools, you know, cleaning this stuff. What we're going to do is throw basically all these tools, including this uh, gas cap from a small engine, into this. Now, obviously, this doesn't fit, but there's kind of a reason for that. I only want to put it in about halfway, just like this. And that's not even really halfway, but that'll be okay. And just kind of see the difference between how it, how it works compared to how the metal was. Now for the rest of this, it can all go in to the uh, container, and 24 hours later we'll have another look at it all. So we'll leave it in for 24 hours. It's 11.19 on October 7th. And here we are tomorrow. It's 11.15 on the 8th of October. So, we can uh, definitely see that there's a difference. There's a huge difference with the largest wrench. And there is a little bit of bluing, like they were talking about in the instructions. But it did remove all of the rust. This one looks like it got the uh, worst of the bluing. Same with this one. But it did remove all the rust from it. So other than being cosmetic, um, we'll see if we can go ahead and clean these up a little bit and see how they'll look. But you can see the difference in this wrench right about here where the water line was. And see how it took all that rust off. So maybe I could have gotten away with putting these in there for just you know 12 hours instead of 24. And surprisingly, this one does have the paint on the cap. It took out all of the rust that was inside. There's just a little bit of surface stuff left. So I bet if I left that in there for another 12 hours or six hours probably, I'd take it all off. But there's a definite difference. Let's see if I can clean the blue off of this stuff. Now, I did cheat a little bit, in addition to wiping, wiping them off with a rag, I used a uh, wire wheel brush on a bench grinder, as I normally would have anyways to clean these up. Um, but I will say that it took substantially less time getting the black oxide off of these than it would have the rust. And I have taken tools like this to my wire wheel on my grinder and cleaned them up that way. Um, but this, uh, all the black oxide that was on there, I was able to remove it very quickly. And this one looks the best, but I did sharpen up the tip of my screwdriver here a little bit. But you guys can see how much better it looks. So, I would say that I would recommend this stuff. Um, it seems to do a little bit better of a job than... Uh, vinegar does. Vinegar is definitely the cheaper option uh, because you can get these gallon jugs from Walmart for you know two three bucks. However uh, this comes out a little bit nicer and it's a little bit easier to manage than using white vinegar it seems like. I am going to do in the uh, near future a kind of a comparison between light, white vinegar and uh, this metal rescue stuff and we'll see on camera how much better it does over the white vinegar but I think you guys might be pleasantly surprised so I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more